ELI 5 Why has the British pound historically been a currency that is worth more than the US dollar in the exchange rate? I seem to remember even before the EU, most of the various European currencies were exchanged at a lesser worth than the dollar. A lot of global currencies are exchanged in that way too. But the British pound has always seemed to be worth more than the US dollar, about one pound to 1.32 US dollars at the time of writing this. To be fair though, the euro is exchanged for the dollar in that way now too. But why has that been the case for the British pound? Both currencies used to be on the gold standard, the value was directly pegged to the value of gold. GBP was worth more gold, because the amount of gold the Bank of England would give you in exchange for a pound note was more than you'd get from a US federal exchange for a dollar bill. Pretty sure I'm grossly oversimplifying, but no doubt someone will be along to correct me soon. I'll be that person. Actually, this response has grown into a much bigger one, so tagging in you slash yak clear 601. You're right that when two currencies are on a gold standard their value against each other is set by the amount of gold they're worth. However that kind of begs the question. Why was the pound set at a higher value the dollar a lower value, and for example, the French franc at an even lower value? The answer to that is that it was based on the value of the currency when it went on to the standard, or the value the government wanted it to be. That would be informally, 1857, and formally, 1900 for the US. So this is kind of begging the question, why was the dollar set at a lower value than the pound? Other people have talked about how the value of a currency today doesn't really tell us much about the economy. Italy's economy didn't change overnight when it switched from the low value lira to the much higher value euro. However we can tell a story about a country's economy through its currency. If we look at the United States, we can go back to the creation of the dollar. The original value of the dollar was set as the same as the Spanish silver dollar, peso. Just because these were in widespread use, so it was convenient for people. If I'm used to being paid 50 pesos a month, then that simply switches to 50 US dollars a month. No need for any arithmetic. The silver dollar was worth less than the pound sterling, so the US dollar was also worth less. From here we can go backwards. Why was the Spanish silver dollar so widely used? What set its value and availability? Or we can go forwards. What happened to the US and the British economies between the creation of the dollar and both going on to the gold standard? Broadly speaking both countries had strong economies in the first half of the 19th century, massive oversimplification I know, which tends to go along with a stable currency. And then of course we can go past the gold standard, to its abandonment in the economic dislocation of WW1, the pegging of the pound to the dollar after WW2, IRC at a 1 to 4 ratio, and its devaluation not long after due to the dire state of the British and the strength of the American economies, and so on.